I can still get into my turn back time costume. Take that, Katy Perry. So I just decided I'm gonna come out in ridiculous costume, sing and be fabulous. Kind of like a female drag queen. All right, hold on, I have to get a sip of Dr. Pepper. Yes, I know. I actually am going to give that shit up because I've been drinking it for so long. I'm not kidding. I, John Quincy Adams was president, I'm sure of it, the first time I took a sip. And you could say that I've given... Well, this is ridiculous, but you could say that I've given Dr. Pepper the best years of my life. And he certainly is the longest relationship I've ever had with a man, so... So that's what I'm saying. All right. And you know what he gave me? The people at Dr. Pepper gave me one measly six pack of Dr. Pepper. I'm not kidding you, okay? And the other night I played Dallas and um, I got measly six pack, the sequel. Um, no, I was doing my show, you know, trashing them as usual, because I just always do. And I happened to look up into the um, box seats. We, there's box seats here, right? Okay, this is my thing, people. I don't know why you sit up there, you can't see shit. <laughs> and FYI, party's down here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm in Dallas, right, and I'm... I'm bashing Dr. Purple. And, uh, and, I, and I look up, and I see a huge banner that says Dr. Pepper. And I go, oh, fuck. <laughs> and I thought, oh, to hell with it, I've been trashing them, and they deserve it, they're horrible. And, and so then I finished my show, and I was fabulous, and, but as I was leaving the stage, to thunderous applause, um, one of my crew guys, I swear this is true, one of my crew guys came up, you can't make this shit up. One of my crew guys came up and gave me this. Okay? Sad ass crew. Alright? And he said, Cher, the people from Dr. Pepper wanted you to have this. <laughs> There's no diamonds in it, fuck them. from Dr. Pepper, we love you. Oh. <laughs> then, I mean, they don't even know what the meaning of the word is, you know? I mean, come on, they think that that's an appropriate gift to give an icon for. That's not even a suitable gift to give a diva. I used to be a diva, but I graduated. I kind of sounded like Mae West. Um, thank God, no, Jen, and Jen started putting um, Perrier in with my Dr. Pepper. And, and um, it's, it's good, it tastes kind of like a white wine spritzer. And, um, no, all right, well it tastes more like a white, trash white wine spritzer, but it's still good, okay? All right, I have to hurry because I want you to see the show because it's really good and it's fun. And, um, but if the truth were known, truthfully, if it was, if, if I came clean, uh, I'm a little bit too old to be doing this particular show. <laughs> yeah, well, what other 68-year-old concert are you going to? Anybody? No. Okay. Is, all right, so what, okay, this is what's the weird thing. People keep coming up to me and saying, are you sure this is your final farewell? Are you, are you, this is it? You're not, not going to come back in 11 years, right? 
And then I said, well, no, I can't come back, I'll be dead. And then I thought, I'm looking out here, I see too that um, some of you old, really good fans. Woo! Yeah. You'll be dead too, you especially. Your wife looks younger than you. Is this like a third wife? Okay, well, she's not going, but you are. Um, Alright, we'll be taking a big dirt nap together. Um, Alright, so to those people, this is my answer. This is my farewell, farewell to you, okay? No, there's no, there's no doubt about it. I'm really not kidding this time, and you could verify it with AARP, okay? <laughs> this is my farewell, farewell tour, and that is the honest to goodness truth. I'm never coming back, I swear to God.